the biggest mistake people do when they are suggesting an idea or when they want to create a presentation or when they are showing a strategy the biggest mistake people do is that they dump every idea they have and put it there there are billions of ideas available in the world i don't want to get one more idea from you so that's why most of the time when people present their strategy they fail so how do you make strategy work when i say here strategy it can be a presentation to your teacher it can be a presentation to your boss it can be a presentation to your customer it can be anybody it can be anything personal professional doesn't matter i'll tell you very simple methodology how to convince people it's very important to convince people because you are doing it for them otherwise you should only do it you should be a billionaire sit at home sit in goa happily drink on breezer and then be happy that's not the point here so the first thing is you must know the person or audience or the company it can be entity for example if you are doing something let's say that you are you are creating a presentation to suggest to a person how to do their personal branding right then you imagine you are doing it for you should know me what i like what i dislike if you don't know that how the hell are you going to do this right so for example imagine i am looking to paint my house right i am going to the hardware shop whatever the asian paints is the best paint one guy say what do they do sir asian paints is the best paint sir better than that like sir please take a look at that we'll give you 20% what is that there is no value there is no experience you understand what i'm saying so if i was the person imagine if the asian paints guy says sir i came to know that you like red color i will show you three red colors there is asian paints there is narrow lock there is something else why asian paints red color is better than the other two because this has a better matte finish which you like you seem to like it i will immediately go there and look for it and buy that so what does it mean you are going deeper into the person's inside you are trying to find something which is so crucial for you pull that out from the person for that you have to do research if you don't research what's the point so this bebe 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 will not work i have seen so many bebe bebe what is bebe bebe people will come they'll say uh, they'll go to google today they'll say this is what it is you should do this you should do that you do this you be in social media you do this and we all know that all this bebe bebe only doesn't add any value so that is why people create 30 different present you know slides you don't need you just need one slide it will knock off that's it you should knock off the person which means you have to understand i would say not even know you should say understand it is not about knowing a person knowing is very surface level understanding is going at a root level understood if it is for an audience let's say you are speaking for so many people you are going to speak for example you are speaking to a group of 300 college students you can't be selling your services this is what we do we are big there nothing what does the college student look for they have hardly any attention span less than 7 seconds in less than 25 seconds you have to capture their audience you have to capture their heart 25 seconds so you should not say my name is mukhi i am 15 years experience i don't care fuck about what you think who you are tell me what i am going to get from you rather i would say that's what people have to learn from ted we all see ted and then like and get out no that's not what it is they should buy a book i have a brilliant book there are many books one of them is ted talks this is by chris sanderson and this is who i personally met couple of times in bangalore brilliant guy he's the founder of ted right chris says get to the point already they have said that who is going to come and speak get to the point right so if i am talking to a college students immediately i say the first thing i say is i was like you never like studies i failed five times in 12th standard 
you capture them. They just wake up. That's all you need. You want their heart. Then you should go. But with that, I wasted a lot of my time. I will not blame them. I will tell myself. My own life experience. I wasted all my time in the college. If I had focused at that time in reading books and improving my skills, I would have been a much better entrepreneur. Correct? I have no regrets. So what I am trying to tell you, this time what you have is most precious. See, you got their attention. That's all. The job is over. If it is a company, go to the company, the biggest problem people make, everybody does this. I have done this myself. I don't do that today. The moment they, anybody, company, a company asks you to come and do something for them, let's say in this case, uh, website design. Designers will go there, our agency will go there, marketing guy will go there. They'll say that your site sucks, you need to redesign. I know, you don't have to tell me that. He's not calling you for that. He's asking you, how can you help him to go to the next level? So the first thing is, hey, you know, Sucheta, I came to know that you are looking to grow from 300 million today to 1 billion dollar in the next 3 years. I have made a presentation which is only 3 slides. Each slide will not take more than 2 minutes. So I take only 6 minutes of your time. I have done enough research with whatever little time I have. If you are not happy about this, we should not work together. See? That builds confidence. So what happens is when you do this, what it does, first thing is it increases your confidence as well as the customer's confidence, right? That's the first thing. Second, it builds trust instantly because you can so much of homework, right? And absolutely no bullshitting. It's to the point. It's candor. It's, we don't do this. It's candor. It is, you are honestly saying it. When you do these three things, when you do this, these three things automatically come out. So, stop thinking, if you want to create something, don't think it has to be 10, 10 slides. Don't think it has to be 20 slides. Create one slide and knock it off. Steve Jobs always says, every slide cannot have more than one line text. He used to say, there are, there are times, I, I, I remember he is mentioning somewhere, he hates fonts more than I think 14 points or 16 points, something like that. Because only one it should be, just one line. Because nobody will focus. You look at PPT, people create tons of nonsense. So this is what you need to remember. Right? 